Hello everyone, welcome to Topic of the Day. In today's video, we shall be discussing about the Nobel Memorial Prize in Economic Sciences and also what is the Diamond Dibwig model. Now recently, the 2022 Nobel Memorial Prize in Economic Sciences was awarded equally to American economists Ben S. Bernanke, Douglas Diamond and Philip H. Dibwig for research on banks and financial crisis. Now, their research has significantly improved our understanding of the role of banks in the economy, particularly during financial crisis. An important finding in their research is why avoiding bank collapses is vital. Let us talk about Ben Bernanke's contribution. Now, his key contributions were research on the role of bank crisis in the Great Depression of the 1930s and his response to the 2007-2008 financial crisis as head of the U.S. Federal Reserve. Until the Bernanke's 1983 research paper, bank failures were seen as a consequence of the financial crisis. But Bernanke's 1983 paper proved it, it was exactly the opposite, that bank failures were the cause of the financial crisis. According to him, bank runs was the key reason why a fairly normal recession spiralled into the greatest economic crisis in modern history in 1930s. Now, let us talk about the Diamond Dibwick model. Douglas Diamond and Philip Dibwick contributed to the development of their Diamond Dibwick model of bank runs and related financial crisis. Now, a bank run occurs. Many clients withdraw their money from a bank because they believe the bank may cease to function in the near future. Now, the model shows how banks' mix of illiquid assets and liquid liabilities may give rise to self-fulfilling panics amongst the repositors. So, what is the solution? The model argues that a better way of preventing bank runs is deposit insurance backed by the government or central bank. Such insurance pays depositors all or part of their losses in the case of a bank run. Now, why this deposit insurance works? If depositors know that they will get their money back even in the case of a bank run, they have no reason to participate in a bank run. Now, let us take an overview of the Nobel Prize in Economics. The Nobel Memorial Prize in Economic Sciences, also known as the Nobel Prize in Economics, is the prize in economic sciences awarded by the Royal Swedish Academy of Sciences, Stockholm, Sweden. It is officially known as Swarigas Risk Bank Prize in Economic Sciences in memory of Alfred Nobel. In 1968, Swarigas Risk Bank, which is Sweden's central bank, established the prize in economic sciences in memory of Alfred Nobel, the founder of Nobel Prize. The prize is based on a donation received by the Nobel Foundation in 1968 from Swarigas Risk Bank on the occasion of the bank's 300th anniversary. The first prize in economic sciences was awarded in the year 1969. Now, the prize in economics is not one of the Nobel Prizes endowed by Alfred Nobel in his will. However, the nomination process, selection criteria and awards presentation of the prize in economic sciences are performed in the manner similar to that of the original Nobel Prizes. Laureates are announced with the Nobel Prize laureates and they receive the award at the same ceremony. Now, who all have been the Indian recipients of this prize? First one was Amartya Sen, who won the prize in 1998 for his contributions to welfare economics. And second, Abhijit Banerjee, who won the prize in the year 2019 for his experimental approach to alleviating global poverty. So, this was all about the topic. Now, let us take up one practice question on the same. Consider the following statements regarding the Diamond Dibwig model. First, it is an influential model of bank runs and related financial crisis. Second, this model argues that deposit insurance is an insufficient way of preventing bank runs. Instead, imposing strict banking capital requirements reduces the possibility that a bank becomes insolvent. Now, which of the statements given above are correct? You can take a moment and write your answers in the comment section below. So, here with respect to the Diamond Divig model, only the first statement is correct. Hence, the correct answer is option A, that is one only. And with this, we call it a wrap of today's edition of Topic of the Day. I hope you like the video. I will see you with some other topic tomorrow. Till then, take care and do stay tuned.